Okay, see if you can see the water moccasin. All right. <clears throat> see if I can get him to flare up or is he going to run away? What's he going to do? Because as you can tell, I'm probably uh, three feet away from him. He's not really doing anything, even with swinging my um, snake tongs around. He's not doing anything. He's not striking. Even with moving stuff around, he's not, not doing anything. So this whole, oh, they're out to, <clears throat> they're out to bite you, they're out to kill you, kill everyone you see. Uh, for what purpose? He has yet to, even other than testing the air and acknowledge the movement, he hasn't done anything to, to attack or to bite. Oh, looky there, he's trying to get away. Oh. Now, let me get him out here. Now. Get him out here in the sun. Now, as you can tell, not until I actually touched him did he, uh, let me zoom out a little bit. There we go. Oop, get back here. Now, as you can tell, they're heavy bodied, but they still have some decent speed to them. This one's actually not that, not overly large. Now, you can see, when he opened his mouth anyway, why they're called cotton mouths. Now, as you can tell, he's not coming at me. There he goes, biting again. But he's biting because I'm bothering him. And look, oh, he keeps trying to get away. He's not coming towards me. He's not actively trying to kill me. And that's the other cool thing, is they're, he's shaking his tail. He's trying to imitate a rattlesnake because every animal knows what the shake of a rattlesnake means. It means your ass is in trouble. Now, like I said, this one isn't overly large. This is actually the second one, possibly third one, I've seen in the last, I don't know, 10, 15 feet. Because um, it is breeding season. Um, this one's actually not overly large. Um, judging by the length of the tail, I'd say it's probably a fem or probably a male, but I, I really can't tell without probing it or popping it, and I'm not handling a venomous snake um, barehanded. Uh, snake tongs are the only way. Now, as, as I've told many, many people, if you find a snake out in the wild, if you don't know what it is, leave it alone. If you're unsure of what it is, leave it alone. Um, last thing you want to do is get bit by a venomous snake. Um, don't kill him. Obviously, like I said, you know, he's not trying to kill me or anything else. He tried to get away from me. He's not chasing me. You know, I've heard that old wives' tale a million times. Oh, he chased me halfway across. Yeah, no. You, you just happened to be in the direction he was trying to go. Um, as you can tell where I'm at, there's water you know, 15 feet away. This is a trail. And then over this way, there's lots of cover. And uh, over there is actually where I found him at. <clears throat> so, so, they're not as horrible and vicious as everybody thinks, you know. And like now, he's not, you know, not doing anything except for trying to intimidate me to go away. You know, Let's see if I can, look, he's protecting his head, because that's the one vital part of their body. Um, if their head gets hurt, they're basically done. Um, everything else will pretty much grow back um, and heal up over time. Uh, maybe not to 100%, but they're very resistant. So let me get this guy out of the sun so he doesn't overheat. Put him back into the cover. And like I said, he's not trying to do anything right now, except for stay away from me. So I will put him back. Let him go on his way.